everyone, it's Susan, and I'm back today with a haul video. I um, want to start out by showing you this. And what this is, is um, as most of you know, I use a lot of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. Just love this stuff, can't get enough of it. Well, I had a nozzle that had clogged, and it was on this one, which is my Cream de la Chocolate. <clears throat> and I had tried all the usual remedies, the hot water, the canned air, couldn't seem to get it unclogged. So I emailed Tattered Angels to ask them for a possible solution for getting my nozzle unclogged. Well, a few days later I received an answer and in the mail they sent me not one, but two new nozzle sprayers. One I've already put on my bottle as you can see. and. When I got them, they had charged me absolutely zero for them. So I want to say thank you to Tattered Angels and kudos to you on your great customer service. It's always appreciated. And for those of you who may not buy Tattered Angels, there's one more good thing I can say about them is they have great customer service. Next, I have some things from my local Ben Franklin store, and I don't know how many of you are lucky enough to still have a Ben's in your area. We have one here in our small town, and this little guy is a little bird, and he's kind of made from paper and, and bark and different little things, and I'm currently working on a mini album, and I just thought he would be great to go on the cover, and I'm sure I'll end up... Uh, adding some vintage touches, probably some glimmer mist or some uh, ink, distress ink, to kind of dress him up a little bit and he'll end up on my mini album cover. And these little roses are just great. They're little ribbon roses. They have them down at Ben Franklin's in several different colors. The blue, the white you can't really see on camera very well. The blue I think shows up a little better. Um, really nice detail on those. These bunches in this size, I pay 49 cents for a bunch of 12 and you can see they've got the wire stems on them. Really like those. Enjoy using them and I will glam these up a little bit. Uh, a lot of times I'll paint glimmer mist on them or use my ring anchors to add color. Even use a little acrylic paint diluted in just plain tap water. Works really well for coloring things like that. And then these are the Paper Reflections Tag in a Bag. And I had not seen these before. And I decided to pick some up just to give them a try. See what I can come up with. And they're just what they say. They are a little cardstock tag inside of a paper bag. So I'm not quite sure what I'll do with those yet. I'm sure I'll find some uses for them. And one of the things that I like best about my local Ben Franklin's are the trims. They have a sewing department that has just absolutely gorgeous trims. And their trims are all very reasonable. Most of these I buy for under a dollar a yard. And they have just some really pretty things. Let me see if I can get these to focus. Well, there you go. There you can see them see them pretty well. Pretty, pretty trims. Um, I also buy tons and tons of ribbon there. And just to give you an example on this one, this ribbon, sorry for the camera movement. I have to zoom it in and out to get it to focus for me. This particular one, I think I paid like 19 cents a yard. So needless to say, I picked up about five yards of that one. And they have various ones that I really, really like. Here's another one. Just really pretty. And a lot of these, if they're in white or in off-white, I can use my Glimmer Mist or my stains or re -inker and color them that way and get the custom colors that I like. And probably my favorite one of all is this one and I love this. I use just a boatload of it. Let me see if I can get this to focus on that. There you go. It's got a little sparkle to it. Got some little sequins back behind the, the rosettes and I just really 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 like that one. So those are the things from my local bins. 
And here in the last few weeks, I have just been on a binge. Uh, most of you know I'm a Tim, Tim Holtz junkie. Can't get enough Tim Holtz. The majority of the things that I have from Tim Holtz, I buy from scrapbookingalley.com. I really like their site. I can get things shipped to me quickly. Their prices are great, and it's free shipping on orders over $50. So I tend to spend a fair amount of money with them. One of the things that I got that I have not had before are the game spinners. I haven't bought these in the past. I really like them. I've wanted them for a while. I don't know why I didn't just pick them up. But anyway, I got the game spinners. Um, also got the mini fasteners. They're again not something I've bought before. Really like them. I think they're cute. I'm sure I'll find ways to use those. And these are probably one of my favorites are the sprocket gears. I just think these are so cool. They'll end up in some mini albums or on some of my layouts. And the swivel clasps. I've had these from other manufacturers in similar styles. Not the Tim Holtz. Really like them and I'm sure I'll love these. I also do a lot of, of shopping at my local scrapbook store, which is the most local one I have is in Ankeny, and that is Memory Bound Scrapbooking. I really enjoy visiting Dawn and the girls, and I picked up some Rebecca Sowers Nostalgia stickers. I'm not someone who uses a whole lot of stickers. Um, if I find some occasionally that I really like, I will pick them up and use them. Last time I was visiting Don, I found these and they came home with me. Also picked up the Tim Holtz salvage stickers. This is my second set of salvage stickers. The first set I used up. So I decided I'd better pick up another batch of them. And not to get off the Tim Holtz kick, but I also picked up these seven gypsies. These are the ATC cards by Seven Gypsies. These are a terrific size. And they've got the punch outs to go on the ATC holder that Seven Gypsies also makes. I won't be using them for that. I don't have the holder. I wanted to use them for tags. So I will just either cover this with some ribbon or lace or I'll just simply trim that off when I use them. And I also got the 97% real tags. These are really fun to work with. I, I've had these before and I really enjoy them. And I don't know who the maker is on this mini book, but I found it. It's all bingo cards. And um, they're very vintage looking. I will probably not keep these together. I will probably break this set up and use them as mini book covers or pages and other mini books. But I just had to have them. They were just really cute, really vintage. And I know they're just going to be a really fun to work with. And these are on heavyweight chipboard. And I mean these are heavy. Oh, there's my buzzer. I'll be right back.